Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do something a little bit different. We'll get back into the time lapses but I actually am very excited. This is the Harry Potter Hogwarts Castle. It's the first diamond painting I ever actually completed and I am going to show you how I um, how I frame this. So this will be a two day process because I will go over sealing it and it has to rest for 24 hours and then I will go over framing it. So let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is I've flattened out the painting. It's been rolled up for a couple of years and I know you can't see the whole thing. I can't get my tripod any taller so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Mod Podge roller and I'm just going to make sure all the uh, drills are stuck to the canvas and they should be because like I said this has been sitting for two years so I'm just gonna go over it And I absolutely love this castle. It was so much fun to do. I unfortunately do not know if this was a licensed seller. I can't even remember where I got it from. But um, I absolutely love this castle. I'm going to, if this wasn't licensed, I'm going to blame it on it being my first diamond painting and just pure ignorance. So after I get everything rolled down, I'm going to seal it. And I actually use Hodge Podge. And I use the Super Gloss. Now I actually saw someone else do this. where they watered down the Mod Podge. So I'm actually going to attempt that here. I have sealed other paintings to frame, but I was waiting on finding a special frame for this one since it was my first one. And I think I got a bunch of them. A little too much in there. So I'm going to put a little bit of water in. You don't have to use bottled water, it's just what I have close by. And I'm going to use just one of the sponge I'm actually going to seal this with to start it. Now this sponge I got at Walmart. I got a pack of, I think it's 20 or 30 of them for just a few dollars. So I don't keep my sponges. I don't worry about rinsing them out. I know that's not good for the land fields, but makes life easier on me. So now that I've got this completely mixed, I don't know if you can see that or not, it's a white bowl. But it's got a thinner consistency. I'm going to start. putting it on the painting. Now I do use a pretty thick layer, I guess you want to call it, just to make sure that all the little diamonds are sealed. I mean, I had fun working on this, but I don't want to have to go back through and redo it. Now what I saw the other person do 
Let's take a towel. And lightly dampen the towel. And then wipe off the very top. This way, you still get the shine from the facets. So I am going to stop talking now, and I'm going to finish doing the Mod Podge, and then we'll probably cut to tomorrow when I'm actually framing it. So that's done and if anybody's freaking out because it looks so milky it actually does dry clear I'm just getting out the pools so once this cures and it takes 24 hours to cure I will come back and we will frame it so I will see you tomorrow in your time it'll be about five seconds and we're back so it's been a couple of days I had to wait for the frame to come in and here it is it is a I'm not sure what this is one second
It is a 20 by 27. And the painting itself is a 77 centimeter by 55 centimeter. So it should fit it just perfectly. Now I'm not going to put any adhesive on this one just because it should take up the entire frame. And then I'll show you where I have it hanging in my office. So first thing we do is we have to trim off this excess here. So we'll do that now. Get my chair. Some people use X-Acto knives and those little, almost like pizza cutters, but my self-healing mat's pretty small and I don't want to cut myself. So I'm going to use just regular scissors. And we have to be pretty careful not to cut the diamonds. changing the battery in my thermostat. So I'm going to stand up for this. like this won't be seen. It'll be behind the lip of the frame. Now my frame I just ordered from Walmart.com. I was, I saw her Stitcherista got hers from pictureframes.com and I will do that eventually, but since this was my first diamond painting and I don't trust my framing skills, I'm going to wait to spend that much on a frame. And not to mention the one from Walmart I actually like because it doesn't take away from the picture, it just kind of melts into the background. And for a basic black frame, I don't see the need in spending a couple hundred bucks on it. But that's just me. No shade to anybody who does. Because this frame 
for this picture more than likely. Be heavy. They have supplied this wire. And they even supplied a way to put it on the wall, which that's kind of cool. going to use my box cutter and open this up. here. Sorry for my head being in the way. from the back just so I don't cry.
So while I'm doing this, I would like to thank everyone for visiting my new channel. I do have another channel, but it covers just what I do for a living. And I'll leave a link for that in the description below if anybody wants to check it out. But I can guarantee you, it is not as exciting as this. But the way this channel is going to work is that I only do one project at a time. That's just my neurosis. I like to start to finish. Two things start to finish. So each project will have an unboxing and a setup. And then probably, depending on how big it is, a series of time-lapse videos. And then a time-lapse video of just the whole project. If it's a really big one. And then a review and breakdown of the project. And... I don't know if I'm going to do this with the breakdown and review or separately, but either a framing video or where I put the painting in my portfolio, which should be here today, and I will hopefully be able to show you that process from some parcels I did a long time ago. All right, so that just crushed my soul a little bit. How did I? Eh, I got most of it. You can see the boats, you can see the moon, you can see the castle. We're good. get what I pay for. It's acrylic decided to come out. And it's not wanting to go back in. Maybe I'll get the $200 dollars frame next time. It's, I don't know if this is worth the savings or not. back in and we have Frank Dogwoods.
But that does not look half bad. All right, I'm going to pause you here. I'm going to put the hardware on, and I'm going to hang her up, and then I'll show her to you. Okay, here she is in all her glory. She's actually right behind my desk, which is, excuse mess, right here in my rest of my studio. So hopefully, Hogwarts will make a good background. But, not bad for my first big framing. Thank you for everyone for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit smash the like button. Talk to you guys later. Bye.